DIY how to make a new 1-6 scale camp canopy for your action figures. Supplies you'll need for this project. Tools you'll need for this project. We will begin with a 90 degree three-way joint. On my prototype, I found that it needed some support material. Start by measuring and cutting four one and a half inch pieces of paper straw. Next, measure and cut eight three-quarter inch pieces of paper straw. Set these aside for now. Measure and cut six one inch by one inch pieces of cardboard. Measure and cut two of these one inch by one inch pieces of cardboard in half. Diagonally, you should end up with two triangles. Take the one and a half inch piece of paper straw and hot glue it to the corner of the one inch by one inch piece of cardboard. Make sure you get it as close to the edge as you can. Repeat with all four and allow the glue to dry some. Add hot glue to the triangle we made from the one inch by one inch piece of cardboard. Line up the bottom tip with the corner of the cardboard. Repeat with all four. Glue the three-quarter inch piece of paper straw to the edge of the cardboard. Glue the second piece of the three-quarter inch paper straw to the other edge. Repeat with all four. Finish by adding some extra hot glue for added support. Repeat with all four and the 90 degree three-way is complete. Measure, mark the center at one inch and cut four two inch pieces of paper straw. Measure and cut four one and one quarter inch pieces of paper straw. Measure and cut two one inch by one inch pieces of cardboard. Cut those in half and mark the center of the triangle. Add a hot glue to the two inch piece of paper straw and line up the center marks. Repeat with all four. 
Grab the one and a quarter piece of paper straw, smash the end down a bit, place the smashed end halfway into the hole punch, and punch a half circle. Use your scissors and trim off one of the ends of the half circle. Repeat with all four. Hot glue this onto the two inch paper straw and triangle bit we made earlier. The uncut end of the paper straw will rest on top of the two inch straw bit. Repeat with all four. Finish by adding hot glue for added support. On my prototype, I found that the last piece needs some support material also. We will start with a one inch by one inch piece of cardboard. Measure, mark the center at one inch and cut two two inch pieces of paper straw. Smash the center at the one inch mark and place it into the hole punch. Make sure you are at the center of the paper straw and punch a hole. After that, you could carefully squeeze the paper straw back into shape. Take the second two inch paper straw and carefully push it through the center hole of the other paper straw. Add hot glue to the four-way joint you just created and apply it to the one inch by one inch square of cardboard. Align the tips with the ends of the paper straws as illustrated. Add extra hot glue for added support. You should now have one four-way four three ways and four 90 degree three ways. Now we will paint this. For mine, I used Krylon's specialty camouflage dark green. It took several coats of paint to cover. Just take your time. If you do not want to paint them, you could just color everything with Sharpie markers like we have done in previous projects. Always remember to wear gloves when crafting. Anyways, I chose an area and laid out the duct tape tarp. This will be where our canopy will sit. To uh, start assembling your canopy, we'll add the top portions on first like so. And you can just kind of lay this out on the ground. We'll take a cross beam. And the T-section will go on to this. This will go on to the portion of your canopy. Next we'll stick a small section in the T-joint. Right there. We'll add two more long sections here. These are the ones that don't have the points on the ends. We'll take your X piece and we'll put the dowel through the center of it, like so. Take a T joint. Place it at both ends. A 
and this will slide onto the other two top portions. And you can just kind of line this up and get your little center beam lined up. Take another small section, put it there, slide the T joint onto this, this one, and two more top brackets. You can line up all the holes and push it into place. We have the top of the canopy built. Finish putting on the legs. Now you could arrange it over your tarp. Push those into the ground some. And there we go. Our frame is built. Now to cover this, you could just take a piece of cloth glue down the edges, lay it on top, covering all the points, and take a uh, camo net. I've shown you several versions of the, of the way to do this. Lay that on top. If you want to see a video about how to make the ghillie uh, camo net using a, uh, using camouflage yarn, let me know. Problem I notice with the fabric piece is that it doesn't uh, sit very well up there. But I have something else we could try. I didn't have enough to do camo, so you could just cut a piece of cloth any size. Wind's not helping. And just lay it on. And just let it kind of droop over. And our camouflage netting will go on top. Like that. And you could probably trim it up to make it look better, but you get the idea. It's supposed to be covering, not something perfect. And you can experiment with different top coverings if you want, but the frame is the main feature here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Follow me on social media. Want to help support this channel? Become a Patreon member. Until next time, don't forget to collect, inspire, and create.